if, if I may, in the second, uh, in, in the second page of our resolution, we, we call out uh, uh, two items that relate to uh, our timely support and implementation of this project, and then we call out uh, restoring efficient uh, service. Uh, efficient service uh, of bus, uh, bus service was cut. Uh, board members, I think it's important that we, uh, as a policy statement, in addition to uh, making a policy statement about Portland, Milwaukee, Light Rail, that, that in this resolution we make uh, a handful of other important policy statements. One, one deals with the, the issue of transparency and public engagement. Uh, a second uh, deals with the uh, our focus and attention to timely and effective implementation of safety measures and recommendations offered in the KNJ report and the Safety and Service Excellence Committee. I think it's also important that we do speak uh, accountably and transparently about our uh, continued commitment to examine uh, and engage in ongoing uh, measures that provide for the long-term financial stability of, of TriMet and its transit services throughout the region. Uh, I, I have one more, and that's that we do engage uh, in long-term strategic planning that examines all aspects of TriMet's operation and services, uh, so as in the future we provide uh, uh, and, and continue to examine provision of a diverse form of transit services that, that include uh, bus, uh, high-capacity uh, bus services, paratransit, light rail, uh, streetcar as a partner. With, without, and I, and I realize those are many things to be said, but without saying those, I think uh, the statement itself in support of Portland Milwaukee Light Rail somewhat occurs in a vacuum by itself. And I think contextually, we're committed to do many things. We are addressing many things. Uh, and and to, for that reason, uh, I think it's important to uh, provide for uh, an expansion of the resolution. Now, Brian, I'm not a Roberts Rules of Order person, but uh, you are, and I, I, would, I would call upon the board to imagine that expansion of this resolution. So you're proposing an amendment to the resolution, is what I understand. There's a motion on the table. So you can't, can't do that as a resolution. First and second. Okay. So there's an amendment. So if, if I if I if I rescind my my uh, motion to approve, <laughs> uh, and, and, uh, would that uh, enable us to consider an expansion of this resolution? Well, you could vote you, you could vote the original motion down, okay. and then just amend the ordinance or amend the resolution. Okay. I'm going to call the question then. Well, I, do, I, do I, you understand I, what we're Yeah, I, I do. But Brian, I, I would say he has the right to put an amendment in. Take either the second to the amendment. You, you've already, that would be it, it isn't changing the, the focus called, of the You've already, called, you've already, you've already called for the vote and you have oh, several members vote. Right. It's, it's, a, it's a procedural matter. It's, it's, it's strictly a procedural matter. It's a procedural matter. You have the other right to vote down there. Vote down and do the amendment. I mean, the, the, the amendment just, it would, before the vote, it would be fine. But you already have members voting on this resolution already. I'm going to call the question. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to call the question. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to call the question. All those in favor of this particular um, unamended resolution. All those opposed? Aye. Okay. The measure passed. Right. We're going to begin to Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, without prejudice to my uh, original motion or support of the Portland Milwaukee Light Rail, I would encourage the board to, uh, on, on page two, to uh, uh, encompass with. Uh, Item three, uh, that we commit to uh, ongoing, transparent, uh, active uh, reporting. Uh, item four, that we provide for timely and effective implementation of the safety measures and recommendations offered in the KJ report and the Safety and Service Excellence Committee. Uh, item five, that we continue to provide for examination and ongoing implementation 
uh, measures that provide for the long-term financial stability of TriMet and its transit services. And item six, that TriMet engages in long-term strategic planning that examines all aspects of the TriMet operations and services in the future, including all forms of transit provision. We have a motion, an amended motion. And discussion? On the motion. Yeah, I, and I, I think I understand your motion, uh, Steve. Uh, services are important, as we've said before. That's our main mission here. And I'm glad you included the buses in it. Because if I, but remember, and Jeff, your, your testimony was real important, a bus driver. But there will be a lot of parallel buses servicing this light rail. They have to. That's the feeder lines into it. So I want to see the buses studied and, and increased in the future, Steve. And I'll second this motion. No, well, we want them restored too when it's popped. We want to study. Yeah. Um, we have a, but I second your motion, Steve. Again, we have a second, a motion and a second. Um, I'm going to call for a vote. All those in favor? Excuse me. Point of order. I, I, I don't think we can entertain a point of order. Peter Rizot, 
to the Citizens Advisory Committee on the Budget. Mr. Gentleman. Yes, Mr. President, members of the board, um, one of the, I think, long-term great benefits that we've had uh, at TriMet is the view of some outside advisors on the budget, and the uh, Budget Advisory Committee convenes essentially um, beginning in January, actually December, and then works with us all the way through the budget process. And they'll provide independent eyes and uh, recommendations to you, usually at your April board meeting, related to the actual budget itself. Uh, we've been very uh, lucky and fortunate to have some very